Thou wast perfect in thy ways from the day that thou, verse 6 to 15, thou wast perfect in thy ways from the day that thou wast created. Perfect in his ways when God first created him. Till iniquity was found in thee. <clears throat> now, suddenly it goes back now to the king of Tyrus. No, a little history of Lucifer there till iniquity was found in thee. Now it goes back to the king of Tyrus. By the multitude of thy merchandise that filled thee with violence. So all this trafficking of um, all of this merchandise, all of this illegal trade now going on in the kingdom of Tyrus, gone over to the criminal cartels, gone over to these secret societies, these sanctuaries. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence, and thou hast sinned. So illegal trade and trafficking of people and, and goods and services, and all of this as usual um, in the criminal cartel world, um, resulting in violence and bloodshed uh, and shootings and killings and, and murder and rape and blackmail and all of the other stuff that goes with um, the usual trafficking, illegal trade of goods and services and, and, uh, and drugs and, and all of this um, ugly stuff that's usually associated with the word trafficking. Well, here's this King of Tyrus really and, and it's much the same as the criminal cartels. As far as God's concerned, it's all illegal trade. It's all illegal um, trafficking. It's all gone over to the criminal cartels. It's all gone over to the secret societies. It's all gone over to the fallen cherub. It's all gone over to Lucifer. And Lucifer's got his grubby hands all over everything now. And they are um, in worship of Lucifer in, uh, in, uh, in these secret societies. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence. And thou hast sinned, prophesying against the king here. Therefore, I will cast thee as profane. Now going back to Lucifer, therefore I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God, and I will destroy thee, O covering cherub. Why? Because he sinned. Till iniquity was found in thee. He was perfect when he was first created, but iniquity, selfish lust and self-worship. And um, every um, every evil under the sun now um, in uh, found in Lucifer and all this illegal trade and trafficking of goods and, and peoples now, um, this is the power behind the king here. And who's to say that it isn't going on today and that the power again behind every um, said king on earth and all the politicians and even the scientists all gone over to Lucifer just like this king here has gone over to Lucifer in all of this illegal trade and trafficking, lying, cheating, stealing in order to gain um, wealth, the world, power, lusts of the flesh, lusts of the eyes and the pride of life. So by the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence and thou hast sinned. Therefore, I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God, and I will destroy thee, O covering cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. So he's once right up there with God. He's walking with God in the midst of the stones of fire. God has exalted him um, into great office in honour, not in worship. And the light of God shining through all of these dazzling, beautiful Wonderful stones and Lucifer um, looking to God for wisdom and showing uh, all of these other angels that his great wisdom and beauty is coming from God in uh, operating under the true light, the true light shining through him. Walking with God on the top of the mountain, now God, uh, I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God. I will destroy thee, O covering cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. Thine heart, now here's Lucifer's sin, which is usually the sin of all of these um, uh, said um, kings that now sit in office in all of these various countries. 
And the same would be true now of the scientists, the God of forces now coming in, the God of science that the devil is going to exalt in the last days, that even the Antichrist is going to exalt science in the last days. So these scientists now sitting also in the seat of power. And lastly, a lot of these scientists sitting over um, over these um these um your would be prime minister president your would be king and all of these now exalted and gone over to the the to lucifer thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty this is lucifer's original sin self-worship thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness he got into self-worship now he's the false light, he's gone over to his own light. False light. <coughs> thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. <coughs> thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness, going to self-worship and false light. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. Prophesying against the king here who he's going to lay before kings. Now going on to talk to the king and Lucifer. Thou hast defiled thy sanctuaries, these secret societies, by the multitude of thine iniquities, by the iniquity of thy traffic. Therefore will I bring forth a fire from the midst of thee, it shall devour thee, and I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all them that behold thee. All they that know thee among the people shall be astonished at thee. Thou shalt be a terror, and never shalt thou be any more. <coughs> <coughs> so this is the end of all of those people, all of these kings, all of these um, would-be kings, prime ministers, presidents, the power behind the throne, the kings behind the throne. This is the end, this is their end, and this is the end. This is their end of their kingdom. All that know thee among the people shall be astonished at thee when God finally um, judges these various kingdoms. As he has uh, Tyrus here, all they that know thee among the people shall be astonished at thee. Thou shalt be a terror and never shalt thou be any more. So God eventually brings down these kings brings down these kingdoms <clears throat> and as it says here all they that know thee among the people shall be astonished at thee brings down um, lucifer's power on earth when he goes too far as these kings go too far each time the devil goes too far which he always does god eventually brings down his great effort to rule this world it's always been a conspiracy with Lucifer to rule and reign here on earth through every um, kingdom on earth, even going on back in the days of Ezekiel, in the days of Tyrus. Lucifer um, trying to set up his kingdom here on earth. <clears throat> but now, of course, getting closer and closer than ever to his goal in these the last days. So we have an example here of the um the real power behind the throne and the real end of all of these um kingdoms uh, that are going today all these things it says happen unto them and unto, happen unto these various kingdoms that god eventually judged and brought down all these various kings and their kings god eventually judged and brought them down each one of them putting their heads in the noose eventually each one of them brought down, each one of the devil's kingdoms always brought down by God. No matter which way the devil in the spirit world comes at this, God will always eventually bring him down. His goal all along has been to be the God of this earth. His goal all along has been to set up his great world empire here. And each time, each attempt that he's tried under these various kings, under these various empires, God has always brought him down. He tried back in the days of um, Egypt, he set up a kingdom there. God brought him down. 
He tried in the days of Assyria when there was a world empire there and God brought him down. He tried in the days of Babylon and God brought him down. He tried again in the days of Media, Persia and Jewel Empire this time, but God again brought him down. The devil tried again and through Greece, through Alexander the Great, but God brought Alexander the Great, his kingdom, down. He tried again in the days of Rome, but God again brought his kingdom down. He's going to try again now, muscling up all of his might and all of his beauty and all of his wonder and all of his said wisdom, but in the days of the Antichrist world empire, but God will bring him down. So praise Jesus.